Question 18 is to solve systems of linear equation by Kramer's rule. The problems can be of two types. It can be the two equations with only two variables. Otherwise, it will be three equations with three variables. It can be x, y, z or x1, x2, x3. Now let's start solving this one. The two by two system of equations are generally asked. Now here we need to first write the coefficient of this matrix. What happens is you need to just write, you can write A equals the coefficients only, the numbers before the variables, that is three, then we have two, minus four and minus one. If there is no number over here, it is minus one. This is the coefficient of the given matrix. Now, first and foremost, we need to find the determinant of this and we need to find out whether uh, this determinant is zero or anything other than zero. Because if the determinant is zero, then it doesn't have an inverse. I mean, uh, you can't solve this basically, okay? Determinant is zero, it doesn't have inverse and you cannot use this method. First, if unique solution exists, this determinant cannot be zero. So let's do this. Now here what happens is, just write cross. The determinant, let's, uh, it's written as two straight lines, is basically this left side, three times minus one, three times minus one, minus these two, from here to here, two times minus four. Now solve it up, it'll be minus three plus eight, because four times mi minus two is already the minus is there, so it'll become plus, and two times four is eight. And here we get positive 5. This is the determinant. Now determinant over here is not 0. So yes, unique solution exists. Now we need to find the solution, right? Kramer's rule is very simple. To find the x1, that is the first variable. So this variable over here. All you need to do is the determinant of a, sorry, determinant of ax. Okay, this is the determinant of AX, 1, that's the first part, divided by determinant of A. What it means is, now we need to find the determinant of A. We already found it, I'll just write it out. And over here, we write the coefficient of matrix A, but for the X1 variable now when you're solving, we don't write this row, we write the solution set over here. 6 and minus 13 replaces the coefficients of x1 and y1. So we just write 6 and minus 13 because this is to find x1, isn't it? And then we write over here the remaining 2 and minus 1. If it was x2, let me write it out over here. It will be ax2, right? Determinant of that divided by determinant of a. The determinant of a is same. But what happens here? This remains same. Now, x1 remains same because we're not solving for x1. We are solving x2. The solution, uh, e, 6 and minus 13, whatever the numbers after the equal to, replaces them. It will be 6 and minus 13. This is it. How do we find the determinant? It will be 6 times minus 1 minus 2 times negative 13 over here. Same thing over here, it'll be 3 times minus 13 minus 6 times minus 4. You can just put in the calculator and solve it up. You will get the answers of x1, y1, x2. So I will just solve it out over here. Minus 6 and plus 26, it'll be 20, the first one. Oh, now this is wrong. Why? Because I forgot divided by 5. Please don't make the mistake I made just now. You need to divide everything by 5. So the answer is 4 over here. What happens over here? 13, 26, 39. It's negative 39. And plus 6, 4 is 24. And divided by 5. Now it will be 35. 15 divided by 5. The answer is 3. So x1 equals 4. x2 equals 3. This much, if you write, it's more than enough. You'll get full marks for this. So the answers are 4 and now. My bad again. See, I did another silly mistake. It is negative 15 here and it should be minus 3. Anyways, I'm not going to edit that because these are some of the mistakes. See, I was just doing it in a hurry. Now, you also don't do the same mistake. These mistakes, you also may tend to do it. So please remember... 
those mistakes can happen so please avoid them so that is how we do it now if you are doing 3 cross 3 the solution set over here is uh, 4 and minus 3 you can check it out in the real solution just substitute over here 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 times uh, minus 3 will be mi uh, minus 6 so 12 minus 6 is 6 yes you can check it in both the equation it will be proper now there are ways to check your answers as well I will show you the calculator method for the 2 cross 2 you can just go to more this is 2 equations 5 and option 1 and now type in the coefficients 2 3 2 6 and we have negative 4 minus 1 over here and lastly we have minus 13 and now if you press equal to over here you get the solutions x first is x1 4 and minus 3 plenty ways to check the solution but this writing is very important now what if it's 3 cross 3 matrix the method is same you need to write the coefficient of all all these terms it's minus 1 minus 2 now here I'll just write it out similar to what we have done but the first equation and the third equation is not uh, directly usable why because it's not in terms of x y z first write minus x minus 2y plus 4z is equal to 12 here we have 3x minus 6y plus z is equal to 15 that's fine what did I do in the first equation I took it to the other side all x y z at one side equal to in the other side and here you can do 2x plus 5y and there is no z so it's 0 you can write plus 0 here to avoid confusion equals negative 1 take this one to the other side now there is no variable any variable missing just take it as a 0 now the coefficients are minus 1, minus 2, 4, 3, minus 6, 1 and then we have 2, 5 and 0. Now we can solve it up. How would you solve? Find the determinant of this matrix. Now if you're finding determinant of 3 cross 3, you write this topmost line, okay, the first line that is, the first term, sorry, minus 1 here and then you ignore the row and column before below it and right side of it so all the terms below it is ignored and right side remaining one we take determinant as 2 cross 2 that's minus 6 1 5 0 next what we do we consider this okay always the second term is minus okay second term is minus and then we write minus 2 ignore them and remaining is 3 2 1 0 and lastly we have plus 4 so this is the thing now this is we don't go higher orders but as a thumb rule you must always remember first one will be plus minus plus if there was one more it will be minus than plus if you think how to do say four cro four cross four matrix then you'll come across that but it's too too big too huge you can check out online videos just for fun you know they are too complicated but maximum you'll get is three cross three and you can solve this in calculator uh, so this is how we do it and then you know over here it will be minus 6 times 0 minus 1 times 5 just, li just like what we did in the previous uh, problem. Now I will show you in the calculator method you can click on more this is matrix the option number 6 and now fill in this matrix. So now before when you press matrix 1 it asks you the dimensions so press one because it's three cross three matrix now you all you just have to do is filling the coefficients correctly once you have filled in all the coefficients press equal to and then press ac now it is saved please don't go to more again if you press more than six that previous one will be erased please don't do that anymore once you have gone to more press six and saved one matrix that is the first matrix here you can see there's a matrix mode on anymore you just press shift and 4 and you get the matrix now here if there was one more matrix you don't press matrix B you need to press dimension and fill in the matrix B but since over here it's only one matrix that's fine we have to select three but what do we have to do over here we need to find the determinant which is option number seven determinant of shift for what matrix A is option number three and now close the bracket over here and press equal to you'll get 109 let's check yes that's the answer and 
Now it is not equal to zero, so yes, we can apply Kramer's rule. And now what we do is we do the same thing. First was AX divided by determinant A, next is AY determinant divided by determinant A, and AZ by A. Each time the equal to the solutions will change from X to Y to Z. And then we do the same thing. You can just do the determinant in the calculator. Just you can, if you're doing it in new, like you want to save this as matrix A, you can go to mode, it's fine. Otherwise, you can just clear your calculator. The matrix mode is gone. Now you can't press shift and four. First time you need to go to mode, press six, fill in a matrix and then press AC, then it will be the matrix mode. So that's how we can do it. And these are the answers. You can do the check as well, but how to do it directly in the calculator. Here again, we need to go to mode and this time equations, simultaneous equations, right? So go to equation two. Now we can't directly put this, we need to rearrange this. I've written a rearranged form a while ago, or we can just put the coefficient. We have the coefficients, right? And then equal to. I have typed in all the coefficients over here, and it's not just three, there's another, another row over here. For what, another column, sorry. For the equal to, see this is equal to 12, right? Next one is equal to five, and this one becomes minus one when you take it to the other side. So those are also to be written. And then when you press equal to, it will take time to compute and gives you the answer two minus one, three. This is how we can check the answers. So please do try these problems by yourselves. Two cross two is very simple. When it comes to three cross three, it takes plenty of time to do it. Please do it by yourselves and then check the answers over here. All answers are solved here. And you can see over here, the determinant would be zero. What if you do it in the calculator? You can try it, you will get math error or no solution. Therefore, we can tell it does not exist. It's, a, it, it's not having a unique solution. Try all the problems. If you are stuck or if you're having any doubts, please post them in the comments.